All you have to do is close your eyes and listen. Are we? Yes. Welcome, everybody, to the first ever video podcast, which you saw was the pre-show. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> this is episode 50, our one-year anniversary of TSGG Chat. I am your host, Kevin Bork. With me this week is Brett. Hey. Brennan. What's going on, guys? Kaylee. Hey, everybody. And Jake. Howdy. And in 50 episodes, that was my first different greeting. It was. Look at that. <laughs> special. Something you planned? Special no. for this no. event? I was too caught up on what Jake was going to say because I knew it was something stupid, and then he hit us <laughs> with howdy. <laughs> and you got hit with the howdy. Okay. Wow. Excellent. It's okay. Gee, howdy. Everybody. I appreciate your howdy, Jake. But it's good to be <laughs> back, guys. Before we get started on the news, just want to take a moment to thank all of our listeners that have been listening to us over the past year on podcast services around the world. We here in the United States, Ireland, Australia, United Kingdom, Germany, Philippines, and our neighbors to the north, Canada, we thank you all very much. Thank you. Thanks for listening to us. Nothing from you two? Good guys over here. <laughs> Great guys. <laughs> Villains of the podcast. <laughs> I'm a heel, actually. <laughs> thank no, you very much. You're the reason very much this, for the guys. support. It's always a pleasure to be here for you. Up first in the them. news, we've got... The state of play from Sony. Cloud was saying hello as well there. Cloud was saying hello. I would be remiss if I didn't introduce Cloud the, the spokes spokes cat. cat. There he is with Kaylee. Aren't you all so glad that we took time out to show you that? They are. I'm sure not. There are some <laughs> cat lovers out there. State of play. Sony's second offering at a Sony Direct. Slash Nintendo Direct. I can't so believe you're sticking with, with that. Sony sticking Direct with it, again. I'm sticking with it. Get a little better. What's and going on, Christian? Last. Um, still not very good. Yeah, I'm with you. They improved a little bit. They still have a lot. They're nowhere near to Nintendo's. Upon. No. Well, it took them years to well, craft it, right? So it's true. You can't you can't hate on them though because they did show us some much more interesting games than the last one, I which can't was kind of just. Sony. Nintendo no, you really, can. you really can't. You really can't. The thing tends to, to go a little long sometimes. I would no. Say. I actually love Nintendo. They stick it like 30 minutes. It's favorite. great. No, it's no, full no, of information. No, I'm talking about their featured games. Sometimes they, like, I'd like to see a little bit more of some of the other games. No. Give me all of the Pokemon Sword and Shield Listen, at your next, their featured next game Direct. Is, is all I want. Fire Emblem Three Houses. I could watch that for days, so... You're going to be watching we it once for days when you play it. We right. uh, their E3 last year was Smash Bros. For like 55 got, minutes. Yeah. I'm yeah. cool with that too. That I was never, their big game. It never game. got stale to me. I liked it. At least they showed us something You just want something and different every time. I just want to see more of the other games that they're showing too. No. They give us a, a ton. The just a little bit more. Pokemon Sword and Shield only. Next, next Direct Nintendo. I would like to see Metroid, honestly. I want it because uh, it's being rebuilt. I don't see that. It's being completely rebuilt from the ground up. I don't yeah. think we see that. Not for a couple of years here. Maybe next year. But Sony. Yes, Sony. What did they offer us here? Sony well, Direct. We knew going into it we were going to be seeing Medieval, the remake. And we saw that. Pretty lengthy demo. Lengthy. Not as lengthy as we thought. Well, the we're whole comparing thing was it, 10 minutes long. That's because so we think was compared to Nintendo's when they say this is our highlight. They show it for at least five minutes. That would have been the ent- half of the length of the entire actual event. Events. So, or presentation, I should say. I think we got, what, 45 seconds of Medieval? No, you got two minutes. Was it that long? Yeah. I'm surprised. Nice born was three minutes and something seconds. So their feature got less time than a cross-platform game that is on both Final DLC. Fantasy was 40 DLC. seconds. Not a full game. Correct. That's, That's a crazy expansion. They, they just got so much to work on with these. Yeah, they do. 
God, I'm so excited. Uh, to be fair, again, though, was, what they showed us of Medieval was super good. Looks really good. Uh, super nostalgic for me, given it's probably the first video game I've ever played. It's what you want up there. Medieval to look like. Tenchu, oh, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's I'm just be happy so. that we're getting news. What's the game yes. where you were the Ninja Tiger? I forget what that one's called. Ooh, that one I played that was super early. early one. I don't recall that one. Uh, uh, anyway, Medieval's launch date familiar. is confirmed for October 25th, right in time for Halloween. I do like the way they one. did that, yes. And like they have said, we saw Final Fantasy VII was what closed out the show. Mm -hmm. Episode one. They didn't say that. They just <laughs> That's said what Final it Fantasy is. VII. I like the way they did that, though. Yeah. They were like, in a game that everybody's been waiting for for a long time for and then ever? brought in Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Uh, like Jake said, Monster Hunter World Iceborne's DLC was shown. Oh, it just hurts me. And <laughs> Listen, Predator Hunting Grounds was shown. Again. Was it shown? A brand new title. <laughs> It, said on it flashed to a screen gameplay. right quick okay. and then so disappeared. The only way they make that game good is if they do it like AVP the game a couple of years back, 2000 and I want to say 10. But where you I fought always the soldiers? say 10. So where you could pick to be the Predator, the Alien, or the Marine. Um, I think it was 2009. But that was anyway, a lot of stealth. If they make it like that where the Predator upgrades as you go through it, that would be really cool. But, I mean, if it's just like you're a static character getting chased by five marines and picking them off. I don't see that as being a lot of fun. It's Dead by Daylight Predator version. I was going to say, it's going to be garbage. Yeah. <laughs> Time to find the four generators. I mean, that that game is fun for what it is, but I don't it's, know if it's going to be like that. It's very small. Or if it's going to be more like Evolve. Yeah, that's the one I was Or thinking. actually, then, what it's why? actually going to be is uh, Friday the 13th with where the five people have to take out Jason. That's actually exactly no, what it's they're just be. getting away from Jason. Yeah, Friday the no, 13th they have to is take actually creative, to it, too, because yeah, like that was down. one of the options. There are multiple options to win that, that yeah, game. Yeah, that's what this will be, something like that. Well, you're, but not, that's, you're not escaping the Predator. Right. You're killing that the, Predator. The whole point <laughs> is to kill or him. Or die. I don't know. So, I, I don't know. So in that I don't have a lot of hope for that IP. Like, Evolve. Right. A team co-op against the monster. Right. Replace the monster here. They need... The a predator. vast armory for the Predator if they want it to be good. Yeah, Evolve was a failure. I actually they enjoyed, just it. Didn't I have really I enjoyed it too, Evolve. but they just didn't have enough. The player base was And it was the player base. The player base, the player base disappeared. Yeah. There wasn't enough to entice people. I mean, what what is enough to entice people now? Because you have games like Fortnite, Fortnite. out there that changes every single week. And then there's a... Changes. This year alone... <laughs> A monster came onto the scene, Apex Legends, and people are calling it a dead game because they don't change enough. And it's like, okay, what's going to be enough? So people can game. say it's a dead still game. It's still like got 40k viewers. It's still averaging like it's got like 30 million concurrent players, and it went up as high as 50 million. So you sure you can say it lost 20 million. 30 million is still more than a ton of still, other games. It's still up there, <laughs> Let's yeah. be realistic about it, too. They just started only a couple months ago. Correct? Yeah, in February. So, right. So, um, I mean, Fortnite did not have the speed that Apex had then. Now, Fortnite does because Fortnite's now a monster. Yeah, right. It's a monster. Uh, it's huge. Apex needs to build that momentum. Also, well, season two for them, when they release yeah. new maps, will will build a huge amount of momentum. And that's something they have already told us we're going to see at EA Play. That's what I was so, just going to say. EA it, Play is going to be season two for right. the uh, Apex Legends. And this is something we kind of discussed in last week's podcast about like crunch in the, in the industry. And this is the reason why is because you get called a dead game if you don't release content in, in the yeah. first two weeks. So And Epic's taking heat for that. So yeah, it's strange about that, too, because, I mean, you're, you can compare it to other games that don't really release content that are still active. Like Monster Hunter World only releases content maybe once every three or four months. Those are months. completely different Yeah, but that's games, a different so. game. So, right, different genre, yes. So if you take a look yeah. at Monster Hunter World, what, what competitively compares to that? Oh, God, I don't there is even know. No. There's right. nothing. That's, what, that's yeah. what I mean is that, well, maybe Dauntless, Dauntless, Dauntless comes, comes out in a couple next weeks. Month. I'm so yeah. excited for that. Actually, uh, we have the release date for Dauntless. It is May 21st. Ooh, it's the end oh, it's of this month. month. My yeah. goodness. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's why I said a couple weeks. I thought it was the end of the month. I am PS4, Xbox beyond One, excited for that. Yeah. And the Epic Games. Store. So when that comes out, then you might see people complaining about content for, well, I mean, Iceborne comes Probably out. Probably so not with Iceborne coming out right I after. I, I, think the, I think the core group of people who are actually playing Monster Hunter are going, they know what the game is, they're happy with the pacing, they're not going to be bitching about it. 
Right, like, but that's what I mean is they've had this they've had that game with no competition for this long. Right, and this is the comparison now. So Battle Royale is massive. Some of those people from Monster Hunter are going to play Dauntless just because Dauntless is something different. It's new. It's Yes. It's so exactly what you're it is. you're you're going to see people who are going to jump ship and then it's immediately It's not going to be as good. I agree with you. <laughs> it's I don't not gonna think be it's going to Yeah, but it's still going right. to be fun. totally different. Right. I don't think it's going to hit the same market. No, it's not. It doesn't because it's colorful and and kind of it doesn't have if the If you want to do blood it that way, stuff. Monster Hunter is the Apex Legends Dauntless will be the Fortnite version. If no, I think it's the exact opposite. I think it's yeah, the no, exact opposite. They've, no, they've said that because they know. He's they, saying like the graphical styles and yeah, I'm talking about the that. core experience. Right. Oh, He's not talking about popularity. If you boot up Fortnite on any given week, you don't even know what you're getting unless you follow it. If you didn't follow it, if you played Fortnite a year ago and you signed yeah, out you right now, recognize you don't game. know what that game is anymore. Right. Because it's not what you played a year ago. It's all about the drum gun. So what I'm saying is when you boot up Monster Hunter, you know what it is. And you're going to know what it is every time you boot that up. Right. Dauntless is following the same path as Fortnite is by changing, ever changing. Because what you're it's a free to play game. Is they're going to have, I think they're going to have more of a battle pass what? sort of type of co- concept too, where it's going to be yeah. more. They will, but they're ever changing and it's free to play, so their model has to adapt to entice the player to stay rather than a Monster Hunter. That title entices the player that's going to play that game. They just have the. They just uh, started the. Well, the spring, the spring blossom f- festival is happening in uh, Monster Hunter World right now. Yeah, the, and they have their events too. So, uh, and they have special events um, almost all the time, constantly. They have people Honestly, coming I, in. I prefer the the pacing for the Monster Hunter style. I don't have. Kev the, didn't the free time to <laughs> to dump in to to like the Fortnite type style stuff. You put it's in just, 240 hours in the first two weeks, and Kevin's like. Hey guys, just jump it in. We're like, Kevin, get behind hey, us. Check out this Monster Hunter game. <laughs> get behind us. We're going to kill everything. Hey, that monster looks pretty badass. No, stay away from it. All right, I'm going in. Neither to say. Dead. Dead Kevin. Chris, thanks for watching, though, and I hope you have a good night and have a good day at work tomorrow. Yes, yeah, thank you, Chris. Really. Have a good night, Chris. Also, oh, let's get back to the state of play anyway. So, also coming. Good to not. Not software side is a piece of hardware. There are Days of Play, limited edition PlayStation 4. Mm hmm. This is just a regular slim. It looks like not the pro, but it's in a steel gray, and it has the triangle circle XO. When you guys describe this to me, I was much more uh, excited than when I saw it. I like the controller better than I like the actual console, and the fact that it's a slim is actually kind of gross. Yeah. I don't like that at all. Back to the software, we have Brett's most anticipated game. Away? Away. The nature documentary. When I go on dates or when I talk to girls, they're like, what do you watch on TV? I'm like, nature documentaries. Mm -hmm. They leave, but then I go home to my nature documentaries, all right? A little sugar glider. And I get to play a nature documentary and live as a sugar glider. Like, what? I'm good with it. Give me that. And it's beautiful. It looks like a nature documentary. It is very beautiful. It's narrated. I... I wish I had the guy's name that was doing the narration because it's actually going to be doing it in game and it's just it's going to be so good. I cannot wait for it. Yeah, that, the clip of that looked really awesome. It did look really good. It just doesn't look like something that I'm gonna I'm gonna play. Well, I loved Ori too, and this kind of is Ori in real life. Looks like you need skill to play it. So Kevin doesn't want any part of that. <laughs> you, you can ask Jake too. There's no he, spam in this right. one. What? Can't just throw uppercuts as a sugar glider. You can't uppercut with a sugar glider? <laughs> no, weirdly enough. Doesn't yeah. have a six Didn't foot long Didn't he uppercut pole. the spider? I thought I saw that. It was his I tail. tail whips him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure that's shit. a normal I'm actually, mode of fight for sugar gliders. <laughs> glider. we'll, we'll go with it. I'm super interested to see how they make that work, though. Because you have to make it a video game, but at the same time, you're going for a nature documentary. So they showed where it eats the bug when you jump and fly, and he, he kind of eats the dragonfly. Then what happens when you like fight a spider or a snake or I something? I assume it's going to be real, where they you're so probably going to coil up around each other like real animals do when they fight. So yeah, but are, it's is, probably going to be pretty brutal. Is honestly, what's the mechanic? Uh, like? Yeah, Nature. is the plan going uh, to be? You know what I think it's going to be like? probably button pressing. I was going to say, I bet it's going to be button pressing. I bet it's going to be um, if you're in like, like a grappling situation. Dodging, grappling. Yeah, I, I would actually like that. I would enjoy that quite a bit. Yeah, it might be. It could be a sleep. I might be sleeping on this for yeah. no reason. I'm, I'm, I'm I don't excited know. for it. I, yeah. I really liked it, and it, I wasn't expecting it to come up either. So when they showed it, I was like, okay. He's really? actually like a Sly Cooper sugar Maybe. glider. He starts pulling out canes <laughs> and just beating the shit out of this stuff. But does he go back? in time 
Uh, Maybe listen, at the end. Sly Cooper was the best exclusive Sony's ever released. No, it's not. I, mean, I, I, I would no, argue Sly Cooper's Sly Cooper super was good, game. good. It's pretty good. It was fun. Every one of them. They never did it wrong. Not once. Bring him back. I need to play the last one. He marries the fox. Does he? Spoilers. Yeah. Enjoy that. That's some rude <laughs> shit. I think it's safe to spoil. Did we have a, <laughs> this game have a from 2006. Did we? Pretends yeah, amnesia. Spoilers. I think it's okay to spoil a game that's over a decade years old. Yeah. A decade it's, years. It's 13 years old. I'm, I'm okay with Many it. Many decade years. Yeah, I just got yelled at for the... <laughs> you were trying to spoil game of this Thrones? week's Game of Thrones On episode. Sunday? Oh, I was 30 talking minutes about the after DBZ it one. Get her, chat. 15 minutes Because they're going to be on my side here. Uh, one more game was revealed. That is River Bond, a dungeon crawler with a guest cast it. of indie gaming legends, including Shovel Knight. Oh, I like Shovel Knight. Yeah, this I bet game you do. just it's just, it's not good. We'll see. I don't know. Like I said, I'm on the fence. Like about the combat, it, so. it just looked like he spammed the button and <laughs> like whacked it, it looks to death. Very whacked like everything to death. Yeah, exactly yeah, like that. that. And I was like, uh, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, it does look like that. Cool. It looks like that. <laughs> no, but thank it you. It could be fun a little co-op game there. Well, if that's not enough games for you. EA Access is finally coming to PlayStation 4. Really? Oh, it finally meets their quality? It finally meets their quality. I wonder if that has anything to do with money. It must. (laughs) No. It doesn't everything? Never. 30 bucks a year. Same price. Same as Xbox. so good, though. It is. It is Is absolutely worth it. Yeah, Yeah, what are you talking about? Madden 12, 13, 14. You can play Madden 19, 16, 17, 18, 19. You can play NHL. You can play FIFA. You can play UFC. Is Mass Effect in there? Yes, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, and Andromeda. Dragon huh. Age is in there. Dragon Age, all those. This is definitely worth 30 bucks. It is a good deal. I know. You know. I could play Mass Effect all over again. Yeah, Brennan again. did. That's what I did like two Brennan months ago. Did. Are those enhanced on Xbox or not? I don't no, believe I don't so. so. No? I was going to say, <laughs> it's probably the Because it's EA doing it. It's not right, Microsoft. Yeah, okay. Microsoft so would have. If they but. were doing it, they would have enhanced it. Cause they I would have played it enhanced all over again. I was going to say, like, most thing. of the Game Pass Although, stuff gets... to be on there, it has to be Microsoft backwards compatible. So I don't know. Maybe. Here's the question. All I know is I'm excited for it. What do you grade? We're going to go around the panel. What do we grade this episode of State of Play? I'll give them a five. Out of I was doing ten. Okay, I'm gonna go C plus. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> one number, one letter. <laughs> what are you gonna go with? Question mark. Oh, question mark. That's, I'm gonna give it a ten. We're into symbols. Out of a hundred. Oh, a ten okay, out of hundred. Okay, Jake hated it. One out of ten. You normal hated person. It. You know why yeah, Jake why hated it? Because they showed Final Fantasy VII, and now Jake's got to spend money. He's gonna lose the bet. I'm not gonna. He's lose. losing he the bet. Nah. Jake was right there the whole time. He's like, "This is amazing." Final Fantasy VII. Oh no, it's coming out. <laughs> the, is that oh, gameplay? No. That looks so polished. <laughs> no. Oh, no. And then he screamed into his. That doesn't look like room. next gen. That looks like this gen at its best. <laughs> yes, it did. Oh, mm. wallet time. Looks oh like wait, Final Fantasy. 15. They're showing more at E3. Yeah. Uh oh. See, now I'm excited for that. Oh, and they said this is the road to launch. Double yikes. <laughs> Good luck, sir. Not a chance. Winner. <laughs> Winner. Nah, because what's going to happen, it's going to go through the Kingdom Hearts route, and it's going to be like, oh, let's wait another 13,000 years. No. Okay, what's your letter grade? Because I feel like that's just better for an event like this, is a letter. Yeah. Well, she gave a question. question. Need that. Yell at her before you yell okay, at me. Well, symbols are in the alphabet <laughs> oh my. family, so they are, there you go. Right. Are they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Symbols right are in the alphabet. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You I get said. to Z, and then they go to symbols. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Exclamation point at symbol. <laughs> uh, I, I, what is like I a, what comes after that? I'd, I'd have to give it keyboard. So I give it a five. I'd have to give it probably a uh, D plus. I guess. Oh my god, he's savage. Uh, I think. I think. <laughs> what was their first one? Do you an F? Yeah, it was an F. <laughs> I think this one is. This guy. They're on the right track. Um, I think he's wearing green for a reason. <laughs> I thought I hated. It's the green. wrong color. Jeez. Greens. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I don't hate them. But this is just. I didn't see. He just. He just told me it's the wrong shade of green. <laughs> I don't know if we turn on green screen, what'll happen? It is. <laughs> Oh, fans, please, green screen him, and let's see what you Floating can do. Floating head. Um, anyway, I just don't, I, they didn't give us what I want, so they're, I've always complained about this with Sony, their Sorry. big things are their, their exclusives. exclusives, that's what they've always been about, that's what they're about now, that's what they told us they were about at E3, and that's the last time we heard about any of them. Then we've, they went 
We've got nothing. Radio silence. And then they said, okay. And Kevin, you and I discussed this at the last one. I said, if we they did. don't show us one at the next one, I'm going to be upset. And his grade reflects it. My grade reflects it. It does. And there are games in here that I am very excited for. But does Final Fantasy VII now replace one of those? No. Because the other ones are still no, not ready. No, because it's not an exclusive. It's a timed exclusive. It is not an exclusive, no, though. No, it'll, it'll be on Xbox's stage at E3. Oh, no. my God. Yeah. I don't right. think it's timed. It'll be, it'll on be at Square's stage. It'll, uh, yeah. Square won't have a stage. Uh, it'll be on where, did, where did Kingdom Hearts show first? Well, we knew Kingdom Hearts wasn't Where did it show first, though? But we do know that Final Fantasy VII wow. is an exclusive. They're not going to show it on that stage. He's got evasion <laughs> maxed right, right now. <laughs> that was 100 evasion. You see that? It, we don't. I'm gonna. I'm evade gonna, up. I'm telling you, you right like now. Six of those. Just Microsoft just makes said business sense. Microsoft said this is their biggest, biz, biggest E3 ever. I and here's, I, here's I think all it's their there. games. I'm gonna but s- let me put this Final Fantasy VII game that the people are going crazy over because they need this game. Because it's Even not coming out. Every time you see, it is. They do nothing but criticize it. 2021. However, I haven't seen anything negative about this. Did you? Oh, dude. There's I've always seen so negative much. stuff. I've about seen it. so much. We can get into that if you want to, but please let the episodic. Thing. Um, oh, not that. No, that. I'm just talking about the game play itself. Gameplay looks nice. I See, thought. I'm not against that. I That's something I'm not against. Decent. See, there's a huge, huge fan base against this game. Well, it's gameplay. Okay, I want here's you to what I say the to the fan base. Right 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 I want to hear this. So the point, the point is, Microsoft as a business strategy, they cannot do this because it is a timed exclusive, or it was. And we're assuming that after this event happened, Square Enix pointed everybody to the old press release, which means it's What's must up, be Cloud? staying true to the old formula, which includes the episodic releases, mm-hmm. which was rumored that they were going to be removed and they were going to make a full game. And then they pointed everybody to this old press release that showed episodic releases and that one also included i believe the timed exclusivity for playstation it was releasing on that first why would up in the air on the timed exclusive by the way that's up in the air as well yes okay well then apparently sony that dodged would, the question when it was that asked that would make to sense them. if it's if it's on microsoft stage the timed exclusivity is gone it's gone yes and they launched together I, but it was originally announced to be that. It way. was. So if it's if it remains that way, it doesn't make sense for them to You're ruin right. everything that they're trying to build by giving you a promise of a game that's coming at who knows when. Right. Because it's but not going to be six months. They can if give it's them the not timed day. exclusivity, and that's gone. And Square oh, Enix gone, saw yeah. how big of a uh, market Xbox does have with Kingdom Hearts. Where they sold over a million copies at release. Yeah. Then it's unfortunate that we don't know the full number because Microsoft, they don't like to tell us their numbers. Yeah. So does anyone? Yeah. Still waiting on those God of War numbers. Pretty much. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Those aren't out there either. Still waiting so, on that budget. I'm gonna say so I this. Compare it. Gonna, you know, yeah, they're I never know. given that. I don't think they're gonna show up on on Xbox. I think they'll show the same thing. They didn't do that on, at last year's E3, right? But this is this is different. I think that because it, that's how they actually please I, Sony. But by I giving think them... because Square Enix wants to keep most likely civility between the two, they're probably going to show it on their own stage and only their own stage for that one. Why? Because for the most part, they still have their own stage. So when you, they have their own I know that, but, but when you compare the two, um, like Kingdom Hearts to Final Fantasy, to me they're very very similar as far as their fan base and their not the not the actual game, but their mm. fan bases have are ravenous fans and. It's a lot of crossover between fans. And there's a lot of well. crossover between Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts, right? So Sephiroth. If you're going to this, and if you were concerned about, say, keeping civility between X- Xbox and PS4 or whatever, why would you have showed Kingdom Hearts on their phage s- first last year? Stage. Well, one, to say, hey, look, we're now on Xbox, because that's the first thing that's been happening. Right. That was big. Yeah. That was huge, because Kingdom Hearts has always been on PlayStation. Right, right. I don't think that they're going to do the same thing because they already we already know what they're coming for. I think they're going to do it on their own stage just because they're going to keep it. I think they want to keep it relatively balanced between the two right now. I, don't. I think it just depends on what their legal status is, also whatever true. contracts they've signed. Well, yeah, of course. But let's rewind back to the whole fan base thing, being upset about yeah. the uh, combat. I'm going to say this right now to all the fan base people. Don't say anything rude. Right there. Look right, right up there. Please grow up. <laughs> <laughs> so... Do you know what the outrage is so far for this? I came from Jake, guys. I don't really care. 
because I just want my damn game. Woof. The outrage currently is that this game resembles combat-wise too much of Final Fantasy 15, which they all hated. Fucking where? They the all hated the fantastic. combat. They want their turn-based combat back. Be no. fair. Because, okay, so... Well, that's JRPG. That's what that Final is. Final Fantasy 15 gave you both. It did. It gave it you gave both. It gave you the option for both, yes. turn you can't tell them turn -based that. Thing. You can't tell them that. Because it's not this, how this it is starts. The same like, it's it's I a love, setting I you have to click the I button love my for. Oh, I no. love my nostalgia. And that's what a lot of my excitement over this game is for. Like, this is one of my all-time favorite games. Mm -hmm. But I'm not expecting a clone of the same thing. You, if I wanted to play the, the original game, I'd play later. the original game. Yeah, what's the right, point? Right, exactly. There's but the, plus, I gotta clean up all those plot holes. I 100. Yeah, Somebody got to do I that. I fucking yeah. hope so, man. So a I lot would of be that talking okay, shit so, so far Jake, if they do that. Jake has told me many times that he dislikes the story of this, and the reason for that is because the translation was wrong when it came over. It's documented that the that's translation. Also their fault. The I mean, that's that's exactly what they've been doing over. in the and in the 1990s. Why, that's that's why was their whole things, thing. Yeah, things aren't as cohesive as they're supposed to be, and things that happen are based off loose tran looser translations even, than they should have been. Even with the translation going wrong, the amount of games that they threw with it to make it more convoluted did not help it at all. No. You're We're talking, talking about like Crisis Core or stuff like that? Crisis Core and also Dirge of Cerberus. Which no, are... you should never speak of that one. Yeah, but it's part <laughs> of that <laughs> series. It's part of the canon. Don't. Exactly. It is part of the canon. And but... then it introduced the character Genesis, which was actually, um, oh my God, it's a Crisis singer Core. from Japan. So, um, retcon time. <laughs> but they introduced characters that didn't need to be introduced for no goddamn reason. It was unimportant drivel for them to sell the copies boy. of the game. Not Crisis Core, though. Yeah, that's the whole point. It was to make money. That because it was wildly popular, it was the first big crossover. Agreed, and but it really boosted. You can it. still it hate it, and acknowledge exactly the business yeah. sense so in it. In that state of play, you get to see about what? What did we say it was? Forty seconds. Forty six seconds. Forty six seconds of it, and or forty eight. One of those two. This is partially. This is a combination of cinematics and gameplay. And the game, I mean, this thing game looks looked fantastic, very good. man. To me, it looks amazing. It but I am me also 15, one of the people that like but 15. I also have a 15. huge fan of 15. I, I don't think... Still that, think 12 is better. Yeah. If you want but to bring the breakdown yeah, of story. video gaming and gameplay itself, hmm? itself like when it came to Final Fantasy, that. they've been evolving no, the gameplay play. ever since 9. The turn-based? I mean, 12 had, yeah. had, had 12 the Gambit system. 12 has the best battle system of Final Fantasy. And one of the one of the better like systems for combat and then yeah. 13 and had and nothing. And then 14 the was, was an MMO. Uh, yeah, 15 was, was action time, which was all action combat. I give, which is great. I give them credit for trying new things. They've always been good about trying new things and pushing on both. And they, they fixed their mistakes too, for. which I'm happy for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 13 was garbage. They no, fixed story -wise, that. They said 15 oops. and 12 are very close 13 is my garbage. opinion. 13 had one of the best stories I've ever seen for Final Fantasy. She had to read it. And it was so But pretty. you had to read it. It was so pretty. And it was yeah. gorgeous. It was an amazing and like beautiful that, that game was... where you walked down a hallway for 90% of it until it gave you one giant open open space, and then you're like, but oh, also, what do I do here? It was also new for you auto PS4 battle. then, too. <laughs> That's what you do <laughs> that, there. That was when PS4... PS3. Oh, oh, that was so the auto battle one, wasn't it? Yeah, yes, that's was. his problem. With Yikers. Yeah, the 13 combat was and 13 garbage. 13.2 and 13.3 were all last year. So you're maximizing your utility out of old tech. It had auto battle, Kaylee. It had auto battle. It had auto battling <laughs> that you could you had, replace with Yeah, that's cool. Battling. Did you guys still... hear that enough times? The type of battle system it had? <laughs> you didn't, it just didn't. because not, the game starts battle. you out that way doesn't mean there aren't settings to it, change. But the pair they had they had the paradigm shifting was nice, but even then that didn't super help until you had to get to the end game, where your characters knew different abilities that apparently they never used in auto battle. By the way, no, they, they could didn't. have ultimate abilities, which like lightnings was called like one for all or one for all for one. You know that's one of my favorite parts of Dragon Quest Eleven. Yeah, the auto battle. <laughs> the AI is a genius. It'll use stuff, and I'm just like, yeah, you get them auto battle. <laughs> well, that's current gen. <laughs> And the AI is much better now. Oh yeah, the, the AI is better than I am. But if you were, if you're to say that Final Fantasy 13 had a very complex combat system, no, I'm, nobody would say that. I'm going to say no. no nobody <laughs> but, would say that. 
they had so they have so many different types of gaming gaming styles that they're going through and action for Final Fantasy VII, I encourage it. I think it's something new, and if they keep certain things like the materia system and stuff like that, it's going to be similar to the Kingdom Hearts combat. Where you well, have... that's what I was going to say is this is from the same people that did Kingdom Hearts, and Kingdom Hearts combat was some of the best in any game I've ever played. Just hope they don't bring in the cutscenes. Even... No, thank no. you to Cutscene Simulator. No, if they build the if they, they build it similar to the materia system from Final Fantasy VII, where mm -hmm. you all of your abilities you got from little little gems that you right. equipped to your character. Which I would love you to see. You could make a vote. very complex gameplay with that. Even how, if it wasn't how do you have a Final Fantasy VII from 12? 12 without I was going to say, they, they would have to have the, that. You're right? I mean, it's, okay, this so is so a, re so it's a remake, but not a complete remake. There's certain yes, things exactly. that, are, that are integral to the, the game itself. Yeah. The Materia system is part of the story. Because Materia yeah, is important, is. isn't it, Cloudy? So <laughs> you can't take that out without fundamentally altering what the game is entirely the whole story is talking about. I mean Sephiroth yeah, but I mean, is encased in a giant material. It's their art so, I mean, they kind of have that game, art license I guess is the best <laughs> thing that yeah, I Yeah they have they have the license <laughs> to do so. But old. I would be, no no, no would they're remaking it though. So that it's would new be something that's going to like actually me. that's going to be like episode 4 you guys weren't even born yet. Correct. So this game is near and dear to my heart because I got this for my 14th birthday. Me too. Well, not um, on the on the computer. Because I didn't I have like a 12. I didn't have a PlayStation or anything until I was in my 20s. But I was so born. I played the shit out of this game. I played it. I play it just about once a year, and it's. I don't want them to. I don't want them to fundamentally change the story. I know that there's a lot of stuff they have room to expand on and explain things more clearly, which I really Fix. hope they take that. Really Fix. hope they take that Keyword. as an opportunity to flesh that out like it's supposed to be. But well, they're Fix selling it. three separate full-length games. I can, so yeah, you know the thing about this. Shut up and take my money. The full thing, she's ready games, but if you're talking the game itself, if you they better play, each be 200 hours like every other Final I was gonna, Fantasy. Uh, I'm gonna be upset. If if <laughs> hold up, if you give me super bosses, uh, that's gonna happen in every. Yeah. Mikor, you're gonna Mikor have Zalem. all that. Yep, that's the first one. Oh my god. Anyways, the 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 storyline will be fixed. I'm hoping. I believe it will be. The combat. Will be probably excellent, and with the materia, it's probably going to be more complex than than most games are when it comes to combat, because that's going <laughs> to hopefully change so much. Um, the thing that I'm concerned about is that they won't include things that were fun about the first one, such as uh, chocobo breeding and chocobo one. racing. The original. Will they take that out. No, I don't know. No. Well, this he's, is his concern. Speculating. Yes. Well, I, I had Chocobo Racing in 15. They, they didn't Chocobo yeah, Racing get its own game? Yeah, it did. Yeah. It was, I don't, it was I don't think, its own game I don't think they're going to take Chocobo removed. Racing out because that, that people... Adore they, they that. They built that whole system into the I game wish they itself would. as well. The same racing. complexity fact, of anything, the Golden think, Saucer. If anything, I think they're just going to expand upon these things because they're making three full-length games. Right. They're not going to be removing things. They're going to be adding to what well, was there. Well, let's there will be things. I speculation. Be I would, well, no, this I is would because... like to see like the little hidden mini games, uh, I, like I, the I, ancient forest. I would like to see that. <sighs> like I would like to see that actually fleshed out so you can actually enjoy. Jake says, "Pull it, <laughs> get it out of here." <laughs> that was so hard. It was hard, but it was so good. You literally, the ancient forest. I'm pretty sure if we're talking about the same part, yeah. it's where you the little, the really 2D one that you had to go through up through the pitcher plants and things. Oh. You remember that? <laughs> that was probably so hard because it was in 2D. It was you ancient you, people. No, it, it was it, it was it was a it's it was, a, it was a profile. Yeah, I guess it was a profile area, and you just had to walk through it and then use the right path to hopefully get to the end where I think you got a summon from it. Yeah, but Didn't you we also just had talk about special... last podcast how I hate puzzles. Yeah, I ain't, don't put <laughs> them in my fun. games. Well, one, it was I ain't hard, doing it. It was I'm, hard to find that to begin with. Not getting that. I'm summon. hoping. Well, you it had, was a hidden. Mass. Yeah, you had to kill. You had to kill a boss for it. A world boss, sort of. Listen, no puzzles. I am sick of puzzles. I... And you got a shitty. You got a shitty summon from it too. Typhoon. Good. I ain't doing it. I'm pretty sure. It's Skipping it. Typhoon. Yeah, I think so. Don't I, I don't know. I, I just it. had so much fun collecting. Skip. Like the, one of the reasons the why this game is so important to me is Doubtful. because like 
at that particular we'll see age, how they release those episodes. It really expanded my horizons as to what was available for storytelling. Oh, and it was one of the more complex games at the time too. Yeah, I'm hoping that the Golden Saucer well, should be fun. Its competitor was Asteroids and Pac. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that the Golden Saucer Don't will forget be fun. Mortal Kombat. But I'm also right. hoping that it's original. Update. I'm looking forward to seeing Cosmo Canyon. <laughs> That's gonna be cool. But I'm hoping the the thing about the Golden Saucer is like uh, I hope that they don't. I. I there's a part of me that feels like it's going to be a way to earn cosmetic gear. And I think so that's what? what they're going to build too. Is they cosmetic. had a freaking snowboarding game in there. Like that's... like there, it was so much fun. There's so they many little mini game. games they and had... things to do. I, I'm just looking. They had a little submarine game where you had to chase other subs around Which and blow them up underwater. Also, I underwater. have to say I can't I'm wait to, to actually do that. To not spending two hundred dollars on these episodes. I think all that's going to be there and more because in a in a statement in an interview. It was said that, yes, a certain scenario with a certain article of clothing is staying in the game. They're not trying to pull anything from the game. And the question is... Is it some puff puff? Yes, (laughs) Yes, it it is. (laughs) It's the puff puff. Magical as it is. The thing that I'm wondering is, will it actually change him in the, in the, the outcome? Like I'm, I'm wondering how much actually changes of what he looks like. He gets a foot taller. If he cross dresses, let's just talk about that. Let's just yeah. be realistic. He cross dresses in one scene, okay. and you have to find all the pieces of the outfit, including makeup and a thong and a dress. You do all of it, yeah, <laughs> and a wig. Yeah, disguises are disguises, guys. <laughs> uh, he, he you got to look good for the dawn, right? For the dawn, yep. Which <laughs> uh, there's like there's so many charming little pieces of humor, and also kind of. A, awfulness yep. at the same time oh, the, the storytelling it was the worst but like it was so entertaining and like it didn't bother me that it cr- that you had to cross dress and try to save your friend it was fun like it was, no. it was supposed no, to why be why would that bother any I, so, I would hope that doesn't offend anybody right, now it's not I meant mean, to be nowadays everything offends everybody right but I, that's not what it's meant to be <laughs> Of course, there's just just defending him right just now. Just caress arrest. my face. Um, but anywho, so if they do this game like Hitman does their episodic releases where you can buy it for like $100. Brennan is stuck on this. And get all yes. the episodes. I just want to explain why I hate things that try and milk money out of their customers. But if they do it like Hitman where I can pay $100 for the deluxe and get season pass for every episode. That's what I said. That I'd be very okay with. If they try and sell every game... Every one of them with a different deluxe edition for a hundred dollars. I don't think okay. you're going to see that, and I also don't think you're going to see a collector's edition for this game. I don't think I so think either. There will be I didn't say collector's edition. I don't think I there will be deluxe. Once Digital they confirm deluxe. that it's episodic, episodic, I don't. Episodic. I don't, yeah. You know, I, I'm kind of conflicted that. there though because I do agree with you on that, but at the same time, Kingdom Hearts had one. They had like three different ones. Kingdom actually. Hearts wasn't if episodic, this, though. No, if this I know, I know, a, I know. But what I'm saying is that the initial kind special of edition PS5. They, that's what they do. If it, if this this is a PlayStation happens. Four game. I know. It might be on both. Listen, they could port but it. Listen, if it becomes they will port if it, it becomes yeah. a special yeah, edition correct. PS5, I'm fucking buying that. That's gonna I be a thousand dollars. Don't care. <laughs> okay. Well, I work a lot. You, I will earn you it. Do, first you do owe her a wedding gift, right? So probably going to be paid for. Thanks, Brett, a lot. <laughs> and then the <laughs> got you. following episodes will probably be next gen. But is how I th- see that this going. This is this no. is my th- this is my thought. Why would they have it all for? Why would they? No, it'll be would, both. It'll if, be both. It's a I think time it's going to be both. The, the yes, initial it's game itself. Be the initial game itself took me over a hundred hours to do all of the little details in it. Granted, it took me a to be fair, ago. there's a lot of fucking I grinding. Up. I want to not have to grind that much. I want more story, That's less not gonna grind. Happen. I was going to say, I'm gonna, it's I'll all about the grind. Right what no. are you talking about? Okay, I don't want to have to wander around in the, in the sunken sub for 500 hours. Finding the fastest hours. exploit to get OP. That's what That's Final what Fantasy is about. Oh my god! I remember. Ask me how I'm max level in Dragon Quest. I remember. I had. I had the <laughs> level. The, I had the old school like uh, the tutorial guide book that you bought for it. Oh, I just use the internet. And I grinded guide. so hard when I knew they like they had oh. the internet back then. They did. <laughs> <laughs> they did. Dial up. 1986. That's when it first 50, came out. 56k. All of the documentation was in I could hear the sound. He uploaded it. Oh, that is horrifying. But like, I remember like in the beginning where they're like, yeah, you can pick up this weapon by finding this certain monster and fighting it about, I don't know, four billion times. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And then of course I'm higher level now and then I have this weapon that I know that I'm not going to be able to get until later in the game. 
So of course I'm gonna grind. I'm gonna grind hard. I'm gonna grind as hard as I can to be the best at it. Is this a rap that game? I that just, game yeah. will score <laughs> <around> <laughs> extremely <laughs> low in today's review criteria. Does uh, okay. does, is, does the Buster yeah. Yeah. get like an ultimate are no longer form? You get the ultimate weapon by destroying the ultimate I don't know. weapon. Division is pretty grindy, and that yeah. that scored pretty high. It's like, actually called it the ultimate weapon. Buster sword, ultimate weapon, like symbolic no. of his relationship. Yeah, but that's part of this. That's that's part of the grind that you have to create. I would hope that I would hope that they would actually introduce the Advent Sword, whatever it's called, the the sword. See, I never played. Does it look ones? like a calendar? What? Does it give me chocolates? Does it select like a special month out of oh the year and become <laughs> specific to that sword? That'd be sick. Anyway. That actually would be cool. <laughs> well, no, so, because his, he, like in the, in Advent Children, he had the December's sword and Christmas tree. that literally he... I was talking about Advent calendars. Yes, we got you. You did, not You did. he didn't. I didn't want to get it. I he, wanted to he's talk just, about... He's just he, going, nope, I'm noping out of this. I I'm, wanna... I'm literally trying to focus on what's sword important here. opens and there's chocolate. Did oh, you guys okay. ever see yeah. Advent Children? No. No, what? What? Okay. It's, it's actually really 42 good. 42 years before my birth. What do you want from me? No, the movie came out. Yeah, it's relatively... Oh, it's a movie? Yeah, it's recent. Yeah, it is. Yep, it's, it's supposed recent. to be the end. The end of the story. I was still basically. ten, Kev. Well, okay. First, oh, so they first were of all, fixing guys, more. Did you then? actually play seven? No. 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 Of course. I already not. said that. No. He, I was that born he said in nineteen ninety four. Don't spoil things. For no spoilers. Jake, yeah, he can't help himself. Advent Children came out in. I was twelve. Like. You were twenty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I mean. I was so nine. we didn't get to, get to play any of this. I mean, it's so out I'm there. Super excited. Kevin for hasn't this game. finished it. I'm not playing. I didn't finish it. No, deep. because once I saw a trailer that said it's reborn, I was like, <laughs> I'll wait. Years ago. So yet again, Kevin's breaking a game lie to me. Oh, well, I promise you, I'll play it. Listen. Oh, the promise still stands. <laughs> yeah, you're Did gonna you play, play the original version. So that's version. the Buster Swords like ultimate. So form. The promise in remains. In Advent Children, he had he had you like 17 swords that he put together to make as the game was promised. The Buster Sword. I will play it. No, Final Fantasy XII was my first Final Fantasy game. Edition. In 2019. <laughs> no, no, no. This no, no. holiday. Final Fantasy that's when it's coming out. 15 was my first Final Fantasy game. <laughs> and then I Square borrowed Enix. 12 from again. Kevin. Square Enix, because... it'll be there first. That's when they... That's when they drop the release date. It's coming They'll on Microsoft stage. I'm telling you that right now. It may go there. If the exclusivity is it's no longer a thing. Through, right? God, looks so but good. the release mm-hmm. announcement happens... On their own stage, yeah, I think so. But, because oh. last year their their pre- presentation was a waste of time. Well, you'd seen it already. We wanted Microsoft this game and then, Sony stages, and we didn't even get anything from that. And we didn't get uh, the Avengers Listen, game. I got where stuff is out of that this game? Because this dead. is where the bet came from. Don't say it. All right, it's dead. You don't do that to me. But anyway, Square Enix give them time to do what they're doing. Avengers game is. What I need. Back to this. It's not going to happen. If, if it is episodic they're it. and they're Nintendo's making, got you. and they want you to spend hundred dollars times right. three, I'm probably still going to do it. I'll say that again. If they're doing episodically three, they want you, want you to pay three full price games. I will still do it. We One, know you will. Because I'm a huge fan. This is a For really important game. For how much she hates on Destiny, two, right? Man, that changed real quick. Two, the <laughs> value of it. Dead. I know. <laughs> I know. With Final Fantasy's history that this is going to be worth my time. If it's worth my time, I won't have a problem with it. Destiny 1 was worth your time. Once no, it taken, wasn't. It was once a fucking the Taken cave. King came once out. The Taken King, you never gave yeah, it the I, chance it deserved. Because it burned me so bad, I was disgusted with it, and I still hate it. It gave us a chance to burn back. No. And we did. Don't care. We anyway, good you so the Oryx. My point still that, stands. I mean, it was only Brett. As I'm, long as the value for the first that game... That took so long. I wouldn't ask anybody else to do that. As long as the value for the first game is still there, and you still get a 100-plus hour game per episode... Then I'm for it. Well, that's if you do everything. Yeah, but, but I agree with you. Which I will. The only reason I agree with you is because they're two years apart. So it's not asking me to spend sixty dollars, sixty dollars, sixty dollars three months. You're building whole new games down the road. That's why. That, that's my point. It's like I don't that's mind. I don't mind paying whole series. if there's value for the game. I don't mind paying full price for something. I don't want to pay for a shit game that's going to be like, oh well. This it's broken. Is the Let me take your money. Game Listen, you can just add 20 Anthem. years you can later. Just say it. It's different. It should be the same price it was then, although obviously adjusted for the times, which is not $180. It should be 60 And that is my firm opinion on the matter. Okay. Even if it's the greatest game of all time, which it certainly is. Listen, could they're be investing a lot of resources into making this. That's why I don't have a problem. If they're, if they're enhancing the game, so making it worth company. it, then I don't have a problem with it. 
yeah, Destiny they're, 2 they're spent five hundred million story, on marketing alone. But it's a alone. totally different engine, and they're and they're. What do you think of them, has, Kaylee? What do you think of what? I said Destiny Two spent five hundred million on just the marketing alone. What do you think of them? Because they 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 put some they put some money we, into that game. We still bought the game, and I still thought it was fucking boring. <laughs> so there's that. That's what I mean. You can't use that as an as a I like don't a, as like a negative. It, there, I don't like getting burned here. on a shitty game. No, I agree with you. That makes me angry, especially after I keep throwing my money away on something that didn't give me any value. Not all of us hate Destiny 2, by the way. No, we all do. Just yeah. me and Kevin and Brett and Kelly. And Jake. Jake, 100%. Can we just get the better Final Fantasy game remade, like Final Fantasy 9 or Final I've, Fantasy 8? I've never played 9. Listen, it was my game 9 was, was very broken. good. But Can we get this one first before you start asking for yeah. shit? No, I'm going to say no. 32 year old. <laughs> Listen. What, what is that? What why is, is it always why this is, is it always like a their thing? capstone type deal like we got, the, this we're is on 15 minutes left that's i just want to talk about rage all right okay, can we fine. move on from final on. fantasy we're 7 moving on to rage no it's yes my favorite. thank i don't <laughs> talk about that <laughs> we're moving coming on out in 2019 i've yeah. sided with kevin now i brought him over i was who, who's, i was who's going with me early 2020 but now i think what? kevin's right release date Final Fantasy VII. I think it's 10 good news i'll wait 20,000 years for the collector's edition of ghost of tsushima 2020 Tax well, mess. there might be something else I want. Tax miss. True. That's I'm why I thought it. This holiday tax through miss. tax miss that well, yeah. that four month range. That's, well, that's not this year. Hopeful. You're right. <laughs> I would love to just play wait it. Till that I think you're. I think you are December right. December 30th. That was my guess, but I think you're right. I'm just gonna take a vacation I from work, Kevin. and I'm not gonna do a goddamn thing. Any whether it's listen, school listen. or housework. You or anything. yelled at Kevin for that for MK. She did. That's because we have a wedding this year. What did you call it? What if it came out next month? You called it lazy something. Lazycation? Something like that. Something like that. I said staycation. No, no. She called it. She changed it. Something means that's, that's it. what it was. That's and exactly what it turned into. And now she's saying she's doing be. the same thing. Mm -hmm. To be fair. fair and My variety. version of sloth MK and his version of sloth are two very different well, divergent fair, concepts. It didn't happen either. Yeah, it didn't happen. Um, didn't family come up for that? Yeah, the whole slothcation was ruined. So <laughs> sad. I ended That's up I in, a, in, a, in 12 days. I had people. I had 12 <laughs> days. I was going to play MK for 12 days. I ended up playing it for three hours. <laughs> that was my slothcation. And he was on one time tower. <laughs> R.I.P. The end. Anyways. So you have moved me over. I do think it is 2019. More importantly, Rage 2, coming out in like seven hours. No, it comes out in like one hour. Nope, that's for you, not the general population. That's no, five hours. that's GameStop. Anybody that pre-ordered from GameStop. Yeah, but that's a server-based game and doesn't go live till midnight. But at least you get a chance to download it and put it on your system. You just killed him inside. You did, actually. I did, I did not know that. You got to know that. However, it means you get to... Get your installs well, done. I got my collection. Well, we will be having the unboxing. Yeah. So. Digital. Because I got the collector's we'll edition, done. too, so we'll see that. We'll hear all the memes the head's got to say. Oh, my Yay. gosh. <laughs> but <laughs> more we're giving it away. We get the Wizard of the Wasteland cheat code. You also get that with the deluxe pre-order like I did. So The deluxe is That's only seventy nine ninety nine too. And you can still get it if you pre-order right now. Are we this, hearing any buzz about this like game I yet? did this morning. This isn't an ad. I just really am excited for this game. I think this is actually my sleeper. Cool and I can't wait to this play. is my sleeper game of the year. The, this, uh, this is my the article looks amazing. I read was, yeah, all the guns are really cool, but it's way more efficient to just use the Ranger assault rifle. At that point, I closed out and, of the article because <laughs> I was disgusted. And that, that's what I was going to ask. Like, Who is article? Two or Borderlands Three? You can all guess. No, you actually. So have what's to that say question? You said Rage Rage Two or Borderlands? You can all guess. Give them credit. Uh, I would, this is gonna be the better game. I'm gonna side with Borderlands. Wait, bazillion guns. It's yeah, but it doesn't. Guns with legs. Billion the, does, guns. Does yeah, that, but that feels have that gimmicky. type of loot game? Loot yes. Type, does it? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. You they go, have you powers. Go, you go to arcs and you get new powers and guns. Powers there. and guns, yes. But the guns are very, very different. They are all completely different from each other, and you do have to go actually grind them out. Do the do the arcs for them. Um, the arcs actually show you, they kind of give you a lesson on how that gun works. It was Forge James from Games Radar. That's the article he mentioned, just to give that person credit for writing an article about Rage 2. Um, Regardless of how he felt thing. about it. <laughs> um, so there, there's not that level. What this game is about is actually just enjoying the world that was created by Avalanche and the, the gun, gun play that was created by it, and that's what the game is. 
Um, the reason this is my sleeper game of the year, actually, is the variations, the complete diversity that are shown in the powers and the gunplay, and just how good the gunplay is. Um, well, it's... It's it. The I think this game it's like a rage. This well, it's game looks just, like it's yeah, more up my alley as far as storytelling and, and interest goes than Borderlands Three. Don't care. There's a billion guns. <laughs> well, I care about that. But. Billion guns is fine, but mm, from what I've heard, the story is super short and rage. It is. That's yes. that's that's one of the big complaints I've seen. And then, but this is so. You have to take this with a grain of salt because these people are beelining story probably on easy mode and. So we know the beeline is 30 hours for Borderlands. Right. Do we know what it is for Rage? Uh, no, they just say it's short. Probably 15 or 20 then. So you have to keep that in mind when you when you do this is because as game journalists and the people that we're getting these reviews from, they this is they have to review every game or they have to review a ton of games that come out. They beeline the story. Yeah. It's what it I'm is. I'm actually expecting Borderlands 3 is going to fall in that category too, 15 to 20 right. hours. Yeah. Oh but that's not what that's not what this game oh. is meant to be. This game for is, the cre- is created to be open world. And to enjoy the million different things you can do in the open world. There's death races. There's can you explain to there's me events, how you there's line Borderlands? Like, could you just no? I can't. We're talking that. about rage. Yeah, I'm so, sorry. I just can't wait for Borderlands. But this I is think my, Borderlands going to be better. I think, I'm with you. I think there are aspects of Borderlands that will be better. I'm a loot guy, so a billion guns. I'm obviously interested in, but I I think the the actual gunplay, okay, versus, combat. Going to be better in rage. The rage I, will agree with, rage. I will agree with you hands down. I think I think the actual gunplay and the uh, the kind of combat in the game, the powers, I think will feel better in rage than they will in the. Borderlands. It looks better from all the gameplay I've seen. It's I guess. super photorealistic. But we haven't yeah. seen a lot, a lot of Borderlands either. Yeah, but it's going to be we saw 45 power. Right. But I mean, there, there are two different, yeah, like two different styles. Forty-five minutes plus of, streamers were playing it. So yeah. there are two that different styles sense, of storytelling. Borderlands. We all so. I think I I think this one looks like it's going to appeal more to me than what Borderlands is. Yeah. However, I'm not saying anything well, she bad hated about Borderlands. The loot cave, so. You did hate the loot cave. Yeah, How could you? I did. Weirdo. So this this, this so one boring. doesn't have that so grind fun. element that you don't like. It doesn't have that. I mean, it, it doesn't. there was like, just something about the camaraderie of you and your mates a cave. sitting there in a line. Just like they Dumbing did down. when they took down the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> they stood in the line and they fired. Oh my God, shut up. <laughs> Thank Somebody you, get this man out Thank of you, here. Hey, hey, Bill Drag Murray him out. was a gem. So, I know he was, he really was. As far as the grind goes, I want to feel like the grind actually accomplishes something. Like I don't want to just be, I don't I want, just the want the tedious aspect darts. of it. I say that as a man who hates Ghostbusters. So that's Sad. that's where I flip, have the distinct, the, my level of distinction is that right. I don't mind grinding if there's a point to it, if it's fun and engaging. When it loses that, it's just saying, dead to you me. see an engram pop out of something's head, you just blew off in a cave. You get pretty excited. You do. Until you get bored Listen, with it. I'm gonna Never go, got bored. I'm going to go into an arc. I'm going to stuff my hand into this radioactive something, and I'm going to pull out a grav dart gun that I, I can shoot a piece of metal, and it's going to... You gotta shoot them first. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna the shoot guy. them, and the more you shoot them before shooting the metal, the harder they slam into that it's metal. A bigger pull. Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna shoot them up into the air. I right? do know <laughs> that, and it's gonna look cool. And I'm but I want to see ball. them slam into stuff. So I didn't actually read the article, and I don't remember who wrote Can it, so I don't have it to cite. Like, shoot a car a bunch of times, and then shoot them, so the car the flies car at hits them. I don't know. Because I'm trying. There's a that. ton of variation. That was. The <laughs> that was there's that a, there's a ton of variation in the game. Yeah. Uh, the article I saw the headline for said this game has the best gun play that they had ever experienced. So they took two Rage of two? the yeah, yeah. they so took that, two of exciting. the best developers and kind of slammed them together. They said Avalanche, your open world games are incredible. Just go two. to town, just do that. And then they took Id and said your guns, your your combat. This is what you guys do. Just do that. And then they slammed them together. And that's what this game is. Um, so for the the reviews that I've seen that said the world is empty, the, it's, it's hard for me to believe that. Um, it, is, it, it is a that. wasteland game, so there is going to be a little bit of that loneliness feeling to it. But there are like a, di- a ton of different factions of enemies. There are events in the open world. There's death races. There's all kinds of stuff. That's so. actually what like has ruined Fallout for me. You lost that feeling of kind of loneliness. Like New Vegas, oh, you literally is... walked through the Mojave Desert. You were yeah. just alone. And then in four, there were like seven hundred people, and then in, well, I guess in the newest one, there's just videotapes to listen to. But yeah, that's that, all there is. I hate that for a different reason. Yeah, that's the that's the choice they made to make it yes 
feel lonely. To try and get, get that MMO, feel. Basically, but yeah. Yeah, I, it wasn't there. So uh, that excites me for Rage if I get that feeling back. Also, don't forget, Rage has a roadmap that they've already put out there. Right. A massive roadmap. With yeah. And if you get the Deluxe bosses. Edition, you do get that first paid expansion for free. The Deluxe Edition, once again, is only seventy nine ninety nine. Not, we are not, not, are not, we, sponsored we are not sponsored by it. Or, I'm just <laughs> with I, them. And anyway, I, I don't know why he's doing that voice. Listen, but I mean, if you want to sponsor us, I want <laughs> or Bethesda, anyone, people to play good games. Yeah, Bethesda, don't trash, listen though. to episode 34 or whatever that one that was. Uh, skip what, that episode, well of, but uh, <laughs> support us. Um, it, it's, Lie to me again, Todd. I want people to play. <laughs> <laughs> I want people to play excellent games, and I think this is going to be one of those. This is my sleeper game of the year pick. I don't. I you before this game came out. Paul said it best. Nobody's talking about it. No, have you seen anything about the game? I thought they marketed it well. I thought myself. they did too. Yeah, I thought they did it the right way. You stay quiet until you're ready. Then they're ready. And but that's did you watch their trailers? People don't get their false. trailers were insane. That's Rage the problem. Has you, been guys, all you guys are over thinking the place for the last month or two. From our aspect, people right? don't we, get the, tr- the wrong impression. We search you too. We do all this stuff. In wrong places. Not everybody when does. Don't I follow their Twitter. Tell stories. Talk, also that. <laughs> Not everybody has a five hundred million dollar budget for marketing. Not everybody has Brett so to show you guys all the and videos and say, "Look how good this game much. is going to be." Yeah, but not only did I see it from Ask you, Apex. but I had seen it. I had been seeing it more and more the last month. Correct. Right. And the game is going to be fantastic. So I just yeah. want people to play it. That's why I'm being an ad over what here. What you won't see is a live action short Movie. film <laughs> that doesn't really help the game any, but. These are being made for some reason. <laughs> Not this taking what, shots at anyone directly. I thought you were know talking about Death Stranding. <laughs> no, no the full length film. Destiny. I'm talking about Destiny, and I I'm talking about Anthem. I talking about. No, we're not attacking Death Stranding. The full length film, more than likely, going to be phenomenal. <laughs> that game. That movie's going to be amazing. It's a feature <laughs> film, <laughs> guys. It's going to be amazing. The first real These interactive guys. film. <laughs> Remember, you're playing at all times. So he did say that. Kojima. What a crazy person. He said you're already playing. <laughs> what a crazy person. You're, 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 everybody's did. already he playing did. the game. He did say that. Every time you I guys really go on social media, you're playing the game. That he's got going like, on there that will make that make sense. What did sense? you say to me, Kojima? <laughs> My social media, I'm, I'm, I'm playing the game, okay? That's what he said. All right. Little do you know, Kojima's there watching you. Kojima is on he's social just, media. Just creeping. He's been tweeting about all the games that he's taking inspiration from. To for Death Stranding, if you were wondering, games, yeah. movies, he tweets about everything. everything. He loves yeah, he yep. One of the best developers of our generation, game creators of all time, easily. That's why he's adding filmmaker to his title with Death Stranding. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I've had enough with games. I'm already the best. I'm, let's I'm let's make, let's a, make a film. It's just diversifying and, and kind of market it as a game. That's why he's friends with Guillermo del Toro. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> um." For Rage, real quick, it's just, it's going to be super fun. It's not going to be a game that has the grind, but it's a game that has a ton of crazy looking enemies. And they all, uh, they actually said it best when they described it. There is, there's a ton of lore to this game, but you have to listen and pay attention for it. That's um, what I like to hear. Because they said, like, maybe play the like first there's, games. A, there's a reason just a thought that Free these people are the way they are. Because, like, the, the swamp. Are included in game rednecks pass, or whatever I guess. they call themselves. There's a reason they're all drunk idiots who are just setting themselves on fire. There's a reason for the the um, what is the name of the main enemy? The general. The authority. Uh, there's a reason for that. There's a reason for all of this. Yeah. The reason. But is you the have to pay and open on time. Whole reason. You're welcome. You just saved me twenty hours. Don't don't listen to. Don't what gotta he's play saying. first one. What he's saying is not accurate. Yeah, it is. He's talking about the first game, which they have said really doesn't have anything to do with this one. Yeah, that's how the baseline developed. Correct. So the authority is in the it. first one. I know. So it was set up by one of the survivors of the arcs who came out first. He was the only one. He went rogue because everyone else was dead. I you rage. are the other arc survivor, comes out like 20 years after, and you try and take them like down. A, like I don't know if he's going to be in this game or what's happening with that. No. We'll see. None of There are, the there are a few characters. Yes. Could be know. in this game? No. No. They've already said he's not. There, are, there are characters there are from that game who are, though. Yes. So people that played the first will have some yes. nostalgia. Right. will notice. But you're a ranger. You're the last ranger, in fact, and that's your, your kind of character. They burned him, um, not... Not literally, but figuratively, in a way, and kind of are after him, and that's why he decided to take it upon himself to go after them. 
Yeah, I'm excited to try out this gunplay, man. Like, I don't really know much about the Rage universe, but... Uh, Did you play Doom? Yeah, I played Doom. Imagine well, better that's, Doom that's, gunplay. Right, I mean... That's, that's hard that's, to do. How well, the, do you, how the the BFG you not get excited from for Doom that? is a pre-order bonus as well. Oh, really? BFG yes, 9000. Nice. Yeah. That's really cool. Also, their sense of humor seems to be... Do you see their new trailer amazing. today? I no. haven't yet. They said the difference between genius and stupidity is genius has... What was it? Genius has it limits. limits. Has limits. Albert Einstein <laughs> said that. <laughs> that was their quote, and then they showed the, the actual trailer of just being stupid. I'm going to gravity that's, dart that's, myself into the sky. I think 100%. that's something that appeals to me, too. You can just do whatever. Yeah, that's that's what this not game is. Not scripted. Just go do stuff. Right. That's why I said about beelining the game, that's not the point of this game. The point is to go around, do the stuff, and just enjoy the combat for what it is. You're 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 kind of a an overpowered monster just killing mutants. Like, just enjoy that. Stupid, stupid mutants. Yeah, just just be stupid. Shoot just, him right in the face. Yeah, I get you a little closer to his face. That's the whole well, point of this game. Stupid, weird, faceless mutants. Kill them all. We will have killed. a lot of that coming up soon with yeah, our coming up soon. gameplay. We actually have a unboxing that's going to happen right after the show today, and we'll be posting that. Maybe. Yeah, uh, Kevin, might doesn't, post it. Kevin doesn't like to post unboxings. How's that Dark Side of 3 unboxing? We got one ready. Great, man, it's been ready for about two weeks. But we're going to post this one first. Yeah, it makes sense. Push I mean, Dark Siders. This one's more important. Yeah. I Maybe mean, Dark Side is out there soon. It is. So he I, said Dark Siders I, wrong like seven different ways, and they were different every time. Dark Sliders. <laughs> it was actually impressive. I was like, <laughs> it's okay. Can't we post st- it. We still like it. you. I'm just excited yeah, for this uh, post poster I got with the collector's it. edition. There's it's a lot a of poster. things I'm excited for. Huh? Yeah, it's a huge poster, apparently, so we'll see. Yeah, I'm yeah, excited we'll for We'll be that. doing that uh, next, so that's all we got this week. Yep. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining the panel. And for the first time ever, thank you for watching. This is TSGG Chat. We'll see you next week. See you all next see time. See ya. Bye. One here, guys.